Hello, hello, hello. I am back. This is Brandy. I'm reading uh, Matthew 13 today. Uh, let's see. Matthew 13. Chapter 13. I'm sorry. It has 58 verses. Let's get started. Hallelujah. On the same day. Jesus went out of the house and sat by the sea, and a great and great multitudes were gathered together to him, so that he got into a boat and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. Then he spoke many things to them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds came and devoured them. Some fell on stony places where they did not have much earth, and they immediately sprung up because they had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns and thistles and thorns and sprung up and choked and the and the thorns sprung up and choked them but others fell on good ground and yielded a crop some a hundredfold sixty some thirty he who has ear to hear let him hear but others fell on good ground yielded a crop and yielded a crop. Some the crop was a hundredfold, some the crop was sixty, some the crop was thirty. And the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parable? He answered them and said, Because it because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For whoever has, for whoever has, to him more is given, and he will be will have abundance. But whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. Therefore, I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. In and them, and said, I'm sorry, and in them the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled. And in them the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled, which says, Hearing you will hear and shall not understand, seeing you see and not perceive. For the hearts of this people have grown dull, their ears are hard of hearing. And their eyes they have closed, lest they should see why their eyes and ears, uh huh, and, and hear, and lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, lest they should understand in their hearts and turn, lest they should understand with their hearts and turn, so that I should heal them. My God my God but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear for assuredly I say to you that many prophets glory to God many prophets and righteous men desired to see what you see and did not see it and hear to hear what you hear and did not hear it therefore hear the parable of the sower when anyone hears the word, I'm sorry, when anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, then the wicked one comes and snatches away what was sown in, the, in his heart. This is he who received the seed by the wayside, but he who receives the seed, which is the word, on stony places, this is he who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy yet he has not he has no root I'm sorry in himself but endures only for a while for when tribulation and persecution arises because of the word when the persecution and tribulation arises 
because of the word, because he has the seed, because he receives the seed and he received it with joy. Now tribulation and persecution comes, but he has no root to endure. Immediately he stumbles. Now he who receives seed, the word, among the thorns is he who hears the word and the cares of this life and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becomes unfruitful but he who receives the word the seed on the good ground is he who hears the word and understands it who indeed bears fruit and produces some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Another parable he put forth to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, the enemy, while the while men slept, the enemy or his enemy came and so tares among the wheat and went his way. Mm. But when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop, then the tares also, also appeared. So the servant of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tares? He said to them, An enemy has done this. The servants said to him, Do you want us then to go and gather them up? But he said, No. Lest while you gather up the tares, you uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at the, at the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, First gather together the tares and bind them and bind them in bundles and burn them but gather the wheat into my barn another parable he put forth to them saying the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed which a man took and sowed in his field which indeed is the least of all the seeds but when it is grown it is greater, glory to God, it is greater than the herbs and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and nest in its branches. Another parable he spoke to them. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal. It was all leaven. Ha, ha, ha. All these things Jesus spoke to the multitude in parables, and without a parable he did not speak to them, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things kept secret from the foundation of the world. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house and his disciples came to him glory to God and his disciples came to him hallelujah saying explain to us the parables of the tares of the field he answered and said to them he who sows good seed is the son of man he who sows the good seed is the son of man the field is the world the good seeds are the sons of the kingdom but the tares are the sons of the wicked one the enemy who sowed them is the devil the harvest is the end of the age and the reapers are the angels therefore oh my god as the tares are gathered and burned in the fire 
So it will be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and, and those whose practice, who practice lawlessness, and will cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of, the, of their father. He who hears, I'm sorry, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man find, found and hid, which a man found and hid, and for joy, and for joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls, who when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet that, has cast, that was cast into the sea and gathered some of every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore, and they sat down and gathered the good into, into vessels, but threw the bad away. So it, so it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come forth, separate the wicked from among the just, and cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be welling and gnashing of teeth. Jesus said to them, Have you understood all these things? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he said to them, Therefore, every scribe instructed concerning the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out his treasure, things new and old. Now it came to pass when Jesus had finished these parables, that he departed from there. When he had come to his own country, he taught them in their synagogue, so that they would be astonished and said, so they, I'm sorry, so they that were astonished and said, where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works? Is this, is this not the carpenter's son, that not his mother called Mary, and his brother James, Yosis, hallelujah, and Simon, and Judas, and his sisters, are they not all with us? Where then did this man get all these things? So they were offended by Jesus. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not, with, is not without honor, except in his own country and his own house. Now he did not do many mighty works. Now he did not do mighty works there because of their unbelief. My God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Well, that was Matthew 13. Guys, I'm going to get off of here. I've had a pretty long day, but I love you guys. Be blessed. Be blessed. Trust the Lord. Trust God. He loves you. Get saved. Get filled with His Holy Spirit. He loves you. Jesus loves you. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.